Hello and welcome to the rosetted series. Today we're going to look at the rosetted number 22. So first, let's look at the score. Key signature, A major. So we have F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. Tempo, allegro moderato. So good tempo, we call the notes equal 92. Time signature, C or 4-4. Four, four. So we have four quarter notes per measure. Dynamics, there's no indication. It would be good to do mezzo forte. Articulation, staccato. Breath marks, some already written, so use it. And type of etude, it's a technical etude. So how to practice this etude? Practice slowly, first of divide. It would be good to start at 8 note equals 72 on your metronome, and then make your way up to 120. Then try to play that quarter note equals 60, and make your way up to 92. Practice one melody line at a time, from one breath mark to another. Don't move on to the next line until notes, rhythm, dynamics, and articulation are controlled. Make music. Think of what an opera singer would do with this line. You can try to sing it too. When the two first lines are controlled, put them together. Then work on the third line and add it to the two previous lines, and so on. So a few tips before starting to practice this etude. We're going to look here at brace notes, and here we're going to go from A to B. So we could do the regular, but it's pretty hard, right? Because it's pretty much the hardest thing in clarinet, going from A to B, natural. So here we have another possibility. We can take the B here. So we still do an A and we just click that top key here. Much easier. So you might have to get used to use it, but after that it's going to be much faster, much easier. So I'm just going to play that measure. Alright, next measure, we have measure 11 here. We have a D sharp, so the note before C sharp is going to be on the left. That's pretty much it. Next measure, measure 12. Here again, D sharp on the right, so the note after B is going to be on the left, the C sharp on the right, and the B on the left again. So I'll play it. Finally, measure 19. Here we're going in the high register. We're going to go from B to C sharp. Okay? If we go fast, it's possible. But there's another possibility. We can do it just with the index, the C sharp. So we're going to do B to C sharp, index only. So here it goes much faster. And I think it's a good fingering to know because sometimes it comes very useful. Okay, so here I'm doing it that way, so I'll play it that measure. Alright, that was it for the tips. So, not a lot of tips, but it's a difficult, it's a really difficult piece. Uh, the endurance is really hard, all those grace notes all over the place. needs a lot of focus to just play the whole piece. Um, I think it would be great to just practice those little tips and then practice one measure at a time and really do like one line at a time and put it all together and then it's going to be much easier after that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play the piece. You can follow along um, the score on the side and I hope it will help you to play the piece a little better. Thank you. Okay. 